This is the post detail page where all comments are displayed. First we have to send the event when a new comment is posted. Creating an object of socket. Make sure it is global. Because we will be reusing this two times. We will also be reusing this data object two times. So storing it in a separate variable. We will also need the comment ID which we can get from server.js. Instead of sending the response in string, we will need to send an object. We can get the ID from inserted ID value. Now we can send the entire object in an event. It will be sent to the server. So we need to attach the same listener on server too. And server will decide to whom this event should be sent. In this case, we wanted to send this event to all users. So we will be using IO object, instead of socket. Now we are attaching the listener on user side. Just check if it is receiving correctly. Yes, it is being received successfully. Now we just have to make it display. Wrap the comment section in a dev and give it an ID, so we can access it in JavaScript. Copy the same layout and paste in new comment event. We will be storing this layout in a string variable. Every line should be enclosed in single quotation. In order to display the comment at the top, we have to call the jQuery method, prepend. Then replace the values with what we received from event. It should be username, not just name. It is working correctly, but the only problem here, is. 
If you are on post A, and someone commented on post B, you will still see his comment on post A, which is wrong. Like this. So we can fix it by simply putting in, if statement. We will check if the new comment post ID is same as the current post. Just give it an ID so it can be easily accessible. And if the ID does not match, then we do not do anything. Just stop the function from further executing. You can try it on different post too. In next tutorial, we will do the reply feature. So you can reply on each comment. A lot more stuff to learn.